Hello and welcome to stage four of the Austrian Grand Prix. I'm driving my Mercedes that I've already won and done two other Grand Prix with. Uh, that's what I'd recommend, something like that, or at least a car you've done one Grand Prix with, or you're going to be in a horrible position. This is a very expensive event. Um, so, because I'm using a car that I've got a max to principal and driver level 7, I'm actually going to earn gold by the time this is done. I'll spend a lot of M dollars, but I won't spend any gold. If you start this with a brand new car, I don't even know if it's possible. Uh, you'll have to spend a ridiculous amount of gold. So, yeah, just don't. So these uh, average speed events here at this point, I've, I actually don't know how much I spent on tuning so far. I'll look at that in the very last stage. That I'll add up how much I spent in currency. And um, But as long as you're not sliding off track a lot, this is pretty simple. Even if you are, like, I'm making mistakes. Like, you know, look at that, making a lot of mistakes. I might do the pit maneuver on this guy. I did the safe version where I let off the gas for just a skosh, just a little bit, so that I, uh, it, it actually, you can do it, if you do it that way, you actually don't get any damage. Often you end up getting damaged when you do the pit maneuver because you stay on the gas. As the car is rolling across your front end, you get smashed. You can sometimes hear that broken glass. If you got a windshield, it'll be broken. So if you let off the gas right when you're turning a person, um, you can do it and you don't get damaged. So. I've done this in other videos where it said don't take on any damage and I would pit six or seven or eight cars without any damage at all. You just gotta be sneaky. That's about it. You just gotta be sneaky. All right. So I like the Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes and Red Bull tend to dominate the time trials and so they seem to be the best cars. But you do see the odd person in like a um, McLaren, maybe a Ferrari that can still get up there in the uh, standings skill personal skill is always a factor and uh, those cars aren't too much slower but the Red Bull and the Mercedes have the highest PR so obviously when it comes down to a time trial competition they're probably the best but PR isn't always the indicator of a winning car because PR doesn't necessarily account for a vehicle's downforce so in time trial competitions where you can drive the uh, Lamborghini Huracan Performante, that tends to beat the competition because that car's just got awesome downforce in the corners. Uh, there's a handful of cars like that. Same with the uh, McLaren 720S. Uh, that car is pretty sick as well. Often beats out the uh, other cars that have higher PR. So that's just kind of, it doesn't take into account some of the downforce you can get in the corners. Or how about the uh, Volkswagen IDR. That car is insane. Now it's got a high PR, but I was just been driving that again, and I'm so shocked how many corners you can just take full throttle in that car. Like it just doesn't make sense. Like um, Daytona, Daytona Speedway, not the Speedway, road course and motorcycle road course. First corner of any second, third, fourth lap, you can take full throttle. <laughs> All right, so this one's a longer race. And it says you've got four minutes and five seconds to get into a certain position, but then the timer keeps going. So I don't know if they made a mistake. Like if you get in position 14 and you don't finish the, the race, like if you don't finish all the laps, does it give you a failure? Well, I didn't find out. I managed to finish in time, but there's been a few times like this where some of the race descriptions were really lacking. Like they just weren't clear. There's, uh, there's some like that in this particular event as well, and I'll point that out. There's just some times where what they tell you to do doesn't make sense necessarily. It's not crystal clear. And I like things to be crystal clear. But sometimes it's just, sometimes it's just a matter of someone thought that what they said was clear, and it's really not because, well, oftentimes us fans know more about the game than the people who are making it. That's not meant as a negative. I mean, if your job's making the game, then you're mostly concerned about things that none of us ever think about. So textures and physics and all sorts of things that we would never think about is the stuff they have to think about to make the best game possible for us. So, yeah. Some I, even before I got to know how the developers work, I used to kind of, kind of rag on them a little bit, saying, well, how can't they know this? Well, how can't they know that? That's because they're busy knowing everything else. So it's just kind of how it works. 
Like I know a guy who is a custom guitar builder and he's actually not great at guitar. He's okay, but he's not a great player, but he's really good at making a good instrument. So anyways, it's kind of, that's true in many parts of life. Just the way it goes. Okay, so still have a ways to go here. We're just getting into lap two. And I, there's position 14, and I kind of took him out. I didn't. I thought the race was going to end. You really don't want to have a lot of contact like that because what I find is that it doesn't seem to hurt acceleration or top speed too much in these cars. It really hurts your grip and brakes, though. So if you're used to taking a corner the exact same way every single time, you're going to suddenly find that you can't. That you take the corner the right way and you go flying off track. That's because you lost grip. And that's where I find these Formula One cars really suffer is the grip area. Don't get me wrong, I also notice there's a loss in uh, speed, but it's very minor. So, at this point, I feel like I'm falling up. Oops. Eh, that's not a great idea at this point. I uh, didn't mean to do that either. Because I'm getting a little bit nervous about how much time I'm going to have to do my last lap. Because, oh, let's just do that. Let's just have a big, long grass drift. Oh, lovely. Ah, I'm not worried. Minute 10, oh yeah, nothing to worry about in this car um, with what I've got for PR at a minute 10. I just need to not be really stupid. Don't go flying way off track. Don't want to do that. Okay, so, Austria, Mercedes, 13th place. Looks like I could get 12th place. Um, people often ask me about bot slowing in these types of races. I don't do that. Because in... Ooh, that's not good. Most of the time, when you're at or above the required PR, it's going to be easy. Not always, but most of the time. So I actually run these events really hard because I don't mind if it gets more difficult for me. Uh, that's kind of what I'm looking for. But because I blew that one corner so bad, I might not catch this guy. Curious if you could take this corner full throttle. Let's just give him a little tap. Bye bye. Off you go to the wall. Oh well. All right, one more race in the bank. Get on to the next one here. Now this one's interesting. You have to hit speed, certain speed there. Like what is it, ten times? Some of these speed requirement races did have me a little bit worried. Um, but it's really nothing to worry about as long as you're not messing up a whole bunch. Like, there's a lot of places to hit speed. Like this is a wonderful spot to hit a speed because you get a little boost of the downhill as you're heading into the braking point. So you don't have to worry about hitting speed multiple times in a sector. Uh, like it's possible if you get off the throttle a bit and hit it again. I think you have to lower your speed by 5%. Maybe it wasn't percent. I think it's just like 10 kilometers an hour and then if you go back and hit speed, it'll count the second time. But if you don't slow down enough, it won't count. But these cars, they lose speed fast when you're off the accelerator, so. Uh, like right there, I was trying to get a double hit, and then I kind of just blew it, so oh well. Let's just see if I can get, a, if I at least get one more here. Pretty sure I will. Oh yeah, easily. So... Still another whole lap to go after that. And again, that much damage, it, it would affect my ability to hit speed again, but I'm really not worried about it. Like these events, for the most part, they're easy as long as they haven't made a silly mistake. Like that's where I think that race, uh, stage one, race three, I think they just made a mistake where their computer tester um, made it look a lot easier than it actually is because bots are gonna drive exactly the same. So not a very good test, but oh well. We'll see. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up getting a free skip for that stage, because I think a lot of people, it won't matter how many upgrades you have, for some people, they're just going to be really mad. So, oh well. Okay, so, sixth time hitting speed already. Not a problem. Well, I don't think I'll get seven here, but I'll get seven in here, and then eight, nine, ten. And let's see, one, two, oh yeah, lots of places to hit speed. Not a problem. Especially if you want to stay hooked up in the draft for a little bit. That is Charles Leclerc. All right. Sorry, Charles. Bye-bye, Charles. Good boy. Get on the... Oh. Sometimes when you're off track, it's hard to get back on. 
unless you lift off the accelerator a bit. So I gave up a speed run. Oh, that's stupid. Okay, well, I'm going to have to fit in a second one because I, uh, well, that was dumb. Well, I forgive me. Hope you do too. Haha. -ha. Maybe I can fit one in right here. Let's just see. If I drive it in deep? No. So... Well, I better fit two in here, I guess. All right, well, no problem. I'm gonna watch closely. Get off just a little bit. Get in again. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you can do it. So there you go, there's the example. You can hit speed twice in one section if you need to, if you want to, if you have to. Spin it around, smash into the wall, ha ha ha. There we go. All right, let's see here, let's see here. And Got to spend more currency, flash, 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 spend a bunch of M dollars, there we go. You know, I guess you could do the math on what I spent right there, but I didn't. I want to race, baby. I just want to race. At first, I was bought, you might have noticed in my stage one video, I, or no, stage three is when I had to buy tuning. I bought mostly brakes, I hate buying brakes, but I was just kind of hoping I could win this cheap. But after a while, I realized there's not really winning this cheap. Okay, engine overheating stage. If you want to hold off some of the heat, do what I just did there. Don't use the brakes. Just drift for a little bit longer. That's how you lower your engine heat. Uh, being on the brakes lowers your engine heat as well. It's just, you're not off the gas for that long, so it doesn't really add up as much. But you can see here, it's really not that difficult. So there, I, I, I had it in a little too deep, so I had to get on the brakes. Um, I'll brake for this corner, I'll brake for the next sharp corner, and then I'll get back to lifting for a while. But there's quite a lot to get this done in. There's quite a lot of time. I didn't really find myself in a risk of overheating, although you'll see I... Uh, no, that's not necessarily true. See that? That is gonna increase your heat because you're off track, you're flooring it and you're spinning, so boom, you generate way more heat in the engine. So if you have a lot of mistakes like that, you're gonna fail this stage. So um, here, here's an easy uh, strategy. Don't do that, haha. <laughs> Don't go off track, ah, worst case scenario. You restart the stage. I did that a few times, just kind of figuring out how I wanted to do it. Nice having the instant servicing, instant R&D. I don't know if you guys realize this, but for us old timers who played this game since 2015, that never happened. We were always servicing our cars like crazy, watching piles of ads. So this is like, wow, this is quite unusual to have all these benefits that we now think are normal, but they weren't. And there we go. That's the end of stage four. Please like, please subscribe. Here's some other videos. Um, please like, subscribe. And a playlist link. Talk to you later.